All right, back at it again with the KTM. This is the final piece of my puzzle, the rotor guard for the back. Before I can get this thing out and actually take it for a ride, it's supposed to be near 50 this weekend in sunshine, so the snow's all melted, the ground is really not frozen, so I may actually be able to get this thing out and get my initial ride on it and kind of let everybody know how it goes and what I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, the rear wheel popped off of this and see what I get into here. The groundhog says early spring is coming. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Come on, get out of there. Push that forward. Pop the chain off. Axle out. Would have been nice if I would have had this piece when I put the tire on, but I did not have it. It just came yesterday. All right, so let's see what we have to do here. How are we attached? Looks like a 10. And uh, I don't know WTF. I can't remember when I did the last one. That is not a 10. Maybe in that. Light looks good with all the orange on it. Okay. 11 millimeter, that is really strange. I had one of these on my 2020, but it's been so long since I put it on. And believe me, like I said, like I always tell you, this is not instructional because I am not by no means a mechanic. When you see me doing this stuff, I'm just doing it because I want to do it myself. I really have no mechanical. I may work on cars like bodywork wise, but I mean that's it. Brake pads are coming apart. So what are we doing here? That's like a pad pin. Okay. 
So this little rubber goes in here. That little rubber come off. Fit that in there. And see if I can get you a little closer here, like kind of looking down in on stuff or something here. I have to get this little. Whoa! Looking at the floor. You got to get this little metal guide for the brake pads off of there. Good way to poke yourself in the gut. that in there. Hey Scouter. This big pin is what I just slid out. My brake pads here are the little brake pad spring for some reason is out of its hole. Okay. Okay, so I'm probably going to take the pads out to make this easier. Little springy clips there. You got your rod for your brake pads right there. That's easier. Scour. What's up, boy? What's up, old boy? Okay, bottomed out and tight. Cute, dirty freaking little prick. Okay, finally situated.
yet, Mr. Hole. Look. Okay. Only got the little pins on again right there. And got the pads on. So now there's a little slot here. Just push it forward and slide it back. And you're right where you used to be. There's a wider spot here. You pop this over and slide it like that. Okay. Now the treat is always getting the back wheel on and getting the disc in between the patties. Why didn't you tell me my freaking all through the dirt. Axle in the dirt. Need to start doing these live so people can tell me when I'm screwing up like right as I'm doing stuff. It saved me a lot of hassle. Come on. I'm sure what my problem is here. mess with my adjusters or anything so that should all be good I don't know the torque on this I just give it up <coughs> okay okay get my tool kit packed away here And I'll give you a shot. I do not remember offhand how much that was. I can put it down in the comments. I think it was $59.99 possibly. Okay. I had a black one on my last bike. This one, I think the orange looks pretty good. Let's give it a check up. Get up. All right, there we go. Good look at her. Now we'll pan on back here. Get the freaking handlebars straight. Nobody wants to look at a bike when the handlebars are cockeyed. There she is. Basically got everything on her that we need to get ripping. The only one thing I got to do yet is do a little uh, little brake snake. Not very long on this one. A little short one on there. And we should be good to go. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Get on your orange beast and get outside.